So who's a dreamer? Us two. You too. Usually everybody that was brought to the U.S. at a young age, they live right. as dreamers. Because you're undocumented. Right. How old were you when you came? Hi. Did you tell your mom, hey, mom, I want to go to the U.S. and I'm going to go without you? No? You <laughs> didn't have a choice. Did you have a choice? No. No? I didn't find out I was undocumented until I wanted to enlist in the military. And I couldn't. <laughs> and, the, and the option that the recruiter gave me was like, well, you can marry me. Because some people want to take advantage of the situation. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to marry because of that. And it's like, is that my only option? And I know that it's a reality to a lot of um, women like me. Because we, in a way, we don't have a voice because we, we don't have a security number. We can't vote. We can't do a lot of things. If she yeah. wants to go to college. She wants to help out the American economy, the American community. She's an American. She wasn't born on this side of the river, but she's an American. Our president has dropped any protections that keep these kids from being deported. But where would they go? They've never lived anywhere else. Even some of his supporters think that's They've got a right to be here. They do? It wasn't their choice to come to the US. Yeah, it was their the parents' the choice parents the that brought them here. As far as I'm concerned, they're part of our society.